Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or have you not seen this series before, what I do is every other Wednesday I go through all of the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total washout. So I really don't think there has been, like, that many makeup releases but i've said that a couple of times over the past few months and then we always have plenty to talk about so before we get into the new products i have an update because i actually placed an order a couple of weeks ago uh from notoriously morbid so this is my first order from this brand i love the aesthetic and i got so many good recommendations uh from people asking me like and telling me that i should try out their lipsticks because they have green and they have black so i am wearing the black lipstick here this is the mystic matte liquid lipstick in the shade rune so we've got black, and then I picked up two green shades. So one is a sparkly shade, so this is the Mystic Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Loving the Dead. So it's like this sparkly, like almost duochrome kind of green lipstick shade. And then there's just a matte green shade, and this is called Wiccan Friend. So I'm really excited to try those out. I also picked up um, two of like these little lotions that they carry, because I'm trying to... When I actually am purchasing anything now, I'm trying to focus on buying from like smaller, more indie brands, supporting local businesses when I can, and I needed lotion, and so I was like, you know, why not just try it from them? So I picked up two of them. The one I have right here is Eternal Dance, and it smells so good. It smells like a, a really nice flowery, but kind of musky perfume, and it's a good size little jar, and I'm really excited to try it out, because if you know me, you know how much I love having a, a, a lotion on me at all times. I keep lotion in my purse. I have a lotion, well, it's actually still at my office. I used to keep a whole bottle of lotion at my desk in my office. I've got like two bottles here. I just, I need to have moisturized hands. If, if not, if my hands are dry, I just feel like, eh, eh, like I don't like it. Anyway, so I got lotion and then I picked up a, a finishing powder. So this is called the End Finishing Powder and it's just like a very bright white <laughs> translucent powder so I'm really excited to try this out as well other than that what did I get I picked up um I picked up a concealer while I was at CVS the other day let me grab it because I was there picking up stuff from the family and I just happened to just want to grab this because I remember this was really good last summer when it was really hot this is the Maybelline Superstay uh concealer in the shade ivory 05 so it should match me I'm very pale as you can tell um and other than that I don't think I've purchased anything else oh i did place an order so i was lucky enough to get the new hollow taco nail polish release i all the nail polishes odds are if you see me wearing polish it's hollow taco like these ones today so i placed the order i got the big box set of all the new rainbow colors and then i picked up another bottle of the black nail polish because i actually mine's almost empty which shocked me like for someone who doesn't really wear nail polish as much, I'm getting really good at painting my nails and working through them, so I'm very happy about that. So I picked up another bottle of the black nail polish, and then I got the latex peely base kind of thing. So I'm going to try, because whenever you bought the box, they gave you some free makeup sponges. So I'm going to actually try, keyword try, some nail art. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. If you guys want to see a video about me trying and probably failing at nail art let me know because i think that'd be really fun to do especially because i have so many hollow taco nail polishes now okay i think that's all the updates so let's go ahead and jump into the new products and i shall scoot so we have room to look and i don't know if you can hear the fan but i do <laughs> it is still hot up here so instead of actually having my ac on i have a tiny little fan on under my desk that just flows up to my face so if you happen to hear that i apologize but i need something <laughs> it's hot and the fact that I tend to just wear all black doesn't really help, but whatever. Okay, so this is coming out from MAC. MAC is coming out, I guess, with the whole line of their MAC Fix Plus minis, which, I mean, they kind of look like essential oil things. Like, you know, you'd have the essential oil droplets for tranquility and blah, blah, blah. They, they smell nice, but I mean, it's a fine line between like oh i like essential oils because you know they smell nice you can use them around the house and then thinking that they fall into that mlm trope it's like oh they can cure anything no they, they do not and they cannot most of them are actually uh not good to digest at all anyway sidebar off of that i think this is kind of silly like these aren't 
these are setting sprays. So, I mean, I do like a good scented setting spray. Honestly, the MAC, the, uh, the rose one is really nice. But it, there's a difference between rose and then getting one that is specifically Awaken or Passion. Like, I don't want my setting spray to be passionate, you, you know? <laughs> it just sounds good. I, yeah, I mean, passionate is not the first adjective that comes to mind when I'm thinking of my setting spray. Maybe I'll have like a dark, musky, like perfume, but like a setting spray? That's not what I mean. If you guys are looking for that, let me know, but that's not what I'm looking for at all. So I just think this is kind of silly. And they're the minis, but they're $13 each. So I really think you are paying more for that mini than you are if you were just to get like per ounce those the regular full size okay so these i actually i really want to try one of these out these are from kaja and these are new they come out like little stacks of um eyeshadows which i've heard really good things about but i've never picked one of them up now they're coming out with stacks and it's like a blush and a highlighter and there's this peachy one that looks really cute and the girl in the picture looks adorable and i, I really want to try this out so i think i'm gonna pick this up they're 18 dollars each which I can't tell how big, like, I mean, from the pictures, it does look kind of small. So 18 might be a bit steep, but I, I believe they're cream products. Yeah, so you can use them on the lip and on the cheek. So it would take you a while to go through a cream product anyway. And I, I just, I really want this. And if I were to get it, it would be the, the, the peachy one. Because I think that would look really cute. Okay, so another overpriced lip balm that you don't need. This one's from Huda Beauty. It's called the Silk Balm. I've used a few higher-end lip balms and chapsticks in my life but if anything it's just reinforced the fact that you don't need to spend more than a few bucks on a good chapstick and actually i lied there was one other thing i picked up at cvs the other day and i picked up focus on my face and what i picked up was a two pack of this this is just aquaphor healing ointment advanced therapy for dry cracked or irritated skin and lips so that's just what i'm using as a lip as a lip balm and this was like four or something at cvs i think i had a coupon for it too so yeah don't spend that much money especially like huda beauty money on a lip balm when you can just just get a chapstick <laughs> i don't understand these overpriced lip balms really oh the packaging on this looks gorgeous these are from Kiko Milano, and it's like a whole collection. We've got like highlighters, blushes, bronzers. I am living for this packaging. That looks really cute. Oof. Oof. I want. I don't know about like the the sh the shadows or the mascara. I'm not interested. If anything, I'm interested in like a bronzer and a highlighter and a blush. That looks so cute. I don't see. Okay, so this is the UK collection, I guess. Oh, so it's coming soon to the US. I don't see any prices, though. If there's one thing, I've never tried Kiko Milano, but I think something that holds me back is that the pricing seems a bit high. So I don't know how much these cost, but I really like the packaging. This looks really pretty. Oof, oof, this packaging. I'm never going to buy this, ever. But this packaging is bomb this looks incredible this is why i saw they're coming out with a new cushion foundation oh uh, and just look at that packaging oh man that looks great i'm never gonna buy this it's gonna be way too expensive but jesus this is not like oh, i like that packaging oh, i hate it i hate that i like it so much <laughs> so i saw this a few times um but i didn't know if it was actually a new product or not this is from nyx and it's called the ultimate utopia palette uh, this just is an oversized palette and I feel like it doesn't know what it wants to be like we've got a couple of random greens like an orange a black some reds and then like some light pastel blues uh, like I said I don't think it knows what it wants to be they're just throwing a bunch of shit into one palette hoping that you'd buy it <laughs> and this isn't that cheap this is $35 so <sighs> yeah I'm not interested in this Ooh, okay, so Essence is coming out with this new collection. It looks like it's in Europe right now, and I guess it'll come soon to the U.S. This is called the Wanna Be My Honey collection, and damn it, is that not the cutest thing I've ever heard, ever. So they've got a uh, all-over balm, I think it's like a lip balm or a multi-balm. There is a pressed finishing powder. There is a luminizing primer, which that looks interesting. I kind of want to try that luminizing primer. And then this, the eyeshadow palette falls a bit flat. I like the idea. I actually like the shapes and the packaging, but these colors are really dull. 
they're really dull and they're washed out. Like, I feel like even on me, even on my pale ass, I don't know if these would show up. So much less for anyone that's darker than an NW10, you know? So, yeah, kind of disappointed by that. But, oh my god, the little facial puffs, though, are the cutest things. Those look adorable. Okay. So, if anything, I kind of want to try out maybe the finishing powder, uh, the luminizing primer, because that looks really good, and then maybe those little eye puffs. I don't know. And then the, Oh, there's brushes, too, but I don't see brushes pictured here. Oh, they're only in the first one. So, yeah. Overall, uh, it's pretty hit or miss here, but there are a few things that caught my eye and I do want to try out, especially because Essence is such an affordable brand. So I eventually, uh, maybe next month, I really want to do like a big Ulta haul, like place an online order and either go pick it up or just place an online order because there are a few things I really do want to pick up. And I'm hoping by the time I do place that order that this collection will be on the website so I can pick it out. So I've never tried this brand before, but Ritual de Fee, I'm hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is coming out with a new color nectar pigment balm, which to me sounds kind of, it's basically just like a cream product that you can use, um, like on the lips, on, I guess the eyes, on the face. It's $24 each, but I can't see, I don't see a picture of anyone holding these. So I don't know how big it is, but it does look really pretty. And if anything, I'm kind of really drawn to like that yellow color. Because imagine like a nice like monochromatic yellow look. I am wearing a very soft yellow uh, highlight, highlight, a yellow uh, eyeshadow today as a blush. I don't think it's really showing up on camera as much, but I, I love the idea of doing something different, especially with the color yellow. I don't know why, but I really like yellow products. And so if anything, that yellow product is like calling to me because I want to try it like a nice monochromatic yellow look of that. Ooh, how pretty would that be? But it is $24, so we'll have to see. But I also, I don't, I don't think I've seen anyone talk about this before, so we shall see. Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with some new lipsticks. I have to say, I have not tried any lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. I kind of wanted to, but like, I know I really don't use bullet lipsticks that often, and they're pricey, so eh. Okay, so this came by, like, caught me by surprise, and I actually kind of really wanted one of these palettes. Okay, ColourPop. This is the new, what is this actually called? Like the tie-dye? Yeah, it's the tie-dye collection. So this is a bit, it's a bit different than what they've done in the past, and I have to say good on them for doing something different finally. This one palette caught me because it's like blue and green, and I like it. I don't need it though. Like I've gone through my collection. I do have two pastel palettes and I actually did a look today with both of them. It's going to be my next spotlight on petite palettes, but that probably won't come out until like next week, but it is coming. And I really like, you know, bright colors like that. And so I'm looking at this palette. It is different. It looks really cute, but I know I don't need it. So, but it did catch me by surprise. I saw that and I was like, Ooh, I want that green palette, but I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay, so I think I talked about this in the last video. Honestly, can't remember. But now we see the whole collection from Milani. Milani is coming out with a whole new fruit collection. So there's like setting sprays, there's liners, there's lip glosses and balms. And I'm not a huge fan of like this overly fruity. Like that collection from Too Faced, a lot of the products just smelled kind of really bad. <laughs> and if anything, I think it might be even like worse with these Milani products. So I'm not interested in this at really at all. It looks really cute, but I know I, I wouldn't like it. All right, so I saw this, and I was just like, okay, uh-huh, yeah, how much is it? This is three makeup brushes. So this is Wayne Goss in collaboration with Beautylish, so I guess it's just these are going to be exclusive to the Beautylish website. These three brushes are $175. $175. Like, yes, they look pretty. Sure, I'm sure they're handcrafted and everything, but god three brushes for $175. Just, mm, mm, I can't, I just can't. Unless these brushes like cleaned my house, did my taxes, worked the first half of the day for me. Like I just, I can't. These, these are, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So Urban Decay coming out with another new product. Uh, this is called the Lash Freak mascara and what the hell is up with this mascara wand uh, it looks like a like a creepy cat tongue uh, uh. 
Oh, oh my god. Okay, so I guess the ball at the end you're supposed to use for your lower lash line. So I guess I could kind of see what they were going for. But, yeah. All in all, I try not to really, like, promote higher-end mascaras because my favorite mascara of all time is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I actually just bought um, another one on Amazon because I really hate the mascara I have left and I only have one mascara left. So I was like, screw it. I think I'm going to get rid of it and just use the, the Essence one because it's so good and it's $4.99. Like, uh, I can't get over it. So if anything, I would only ever get, like, you know, at Sephora, you can get the 100 point perks. If anything, if this was a mini and a sample, I might go for it, but no way am I ever actually going to buy this, you know? And it just looks so, well, I guess the name is right. It looks freaky. I know Dior is expensive. And I've tried a couple of products out from them, and some of them have really surprised me, like their Air Flash Foundation. It's incredible. I really like their highlighter. It's a bit overpriced, but it's a good highlighter. I've never tried any of their eyeshadows, though. And I saw that these new quads or quints were coming out, and the smoky one caught my eye. And oh boy, do I actually kind of want it. Mmm... I don't need it, but it looks so pretty, and I love like the, the looks that they came up with. Oh no, I want it. <laughs> Uh, there's no price here because of course there's no price but I'm sure it's gonna be expensive yeah probably not gonna get it but it looks really cute oh so Guerlain is coming out with a mascara and a liner the mascara is 33 okay 33 is not that crazy you know <laughs> I was expecting like an $80 mascara and then the liner is $35 and then holy shit I just saw what is next not only okay so this post isn't just for the mascara and the liner it's also for a new serum that they're coming out with this serum is $223 oh what <laughs> well screw that um See, I was, I was going to give them a compliment and say, okay, so they came out with some new products that seem to be, like, their higher end price, but they're not ridiculous. And then I saw that serum and then just, whoop, that just went out the window. Jesus Christ. No. Okay, so Pattern Beauty is a curly and natural hair brand that I just saw mainly at Ulta. Um, and I guess they're coming out with some new products. And it looks like some of them are, like, a collab. Wait. No, no, no. That's something different. Okay, I'm just looking at the Pattern Beauty. I, I've heard about Pattern Beauty, but I've, I've seen a lot of reviews on YouTube from some curly hair YouTubers that I follow and then a couple other ones that basically said it was really overpriced and like almost no one liked the products. The only positive reviews I saw were from sponsored videos. So for products this expensive, like I'm probably not going to try them out. If anything, my hair has actually been pretty bad recently. Like honestly, it's been kind of stringy. I haven't been deep conditioning it because my family is really annoying and they don't like me deep conditioning my hair, which is a total another story. But like... It's, I feel bad. So I'm gonna, I'm growing out my hair. All of my layers are basically grown out. I don't have the bangs anymore. So I'm just going to let it grow out. And I'm going to try and take care of it, you know, once this is all over. And we're not stuck home with family all the time. But I'm not in a position where I need to go out and buy more products anyway. Because I do have a good stock of hair care products. But I've just not heard anything good about pattern yet. Alright, and I guess the last thing we'll talk about is I guess Desi Perkins is coming out with a new makeup line slash brand because of course everyone has their have their own makeup brand i never watched her videos i'm not a fan of her as a person so quite honestly i'm probably not really gonna pay attention too close to whatever she comes out with so yeah we'll leave it at that <laughs> Okay, so that is where we're going to leave this edition of the Be Wow. Let me know down below if anything that I missed that you want my thoughts on. Either I'll, a little, 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 little. Either I'll give you my thoughts in the comments below or I'll save it for next week after next week's video. I was going to say next week's video, but this is every other week. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. This black lipstick is a little drying, but honestly pretty cute so far it's my first time wearing it so i'm not sure how it will do for a full day wear test but it's pretty cute <laughs>